Hello everyone. Um, I'm Mika with Motley Soul Mixed Media Art Studio and today I wanted to show you how to make some really cool altered pages from a National Geographic magazine. I'm going to be using Citrusol. Um, Citrusol, excuse me, which is a really cool product. It's a natural cleansing product um, that we're going to use straight out of the bottle. And this technique is so easy that it barely requires a demo. But what I did was I poured some right into this little palette here and I have my little sponge brush. I found that I like to use a sponge better than anything else, but you can also use uh, cotton swabs, rags, or whatever. I'm using gloves not because Citrusol is caustic or anything like that. It's very safe for your hands, but it's a little bit oily and I've just gotten used to in my studio putting the gloves on. <clears throat> like I said, we're going to use it concentrated. I also want to let you know that I do have the windows open um, right in front of my studio um, desk right here just because it is a very strong smelling citrus smell. I do like the fragrance of it, but because it is concentrated in the, bo um, the bottle, it can be a little bit strong. So try to use it where there's plenty of ventilation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the citrus solve with my sponge right here right on the pages. One thing I do want to say is that um, I've heard from other artists who use this method that it's better to just stick to using the National Geographic magazine. Many times I have tried to use other things and it didn't work. And I'll keep on experimenting um, to see if something else does. But for right now, uh, this is what we're going to use. And I'm just going to spray it on. I use it, I'm sorry, uh, wipe it on. And I normally turn to pages that I like the, um, the color. And I am using it very generously. I'm going to fold that. And this is like, it doesn't get any easier than this. Look at that. You just spread it on, turn the page, spread it on. You know, and as you can see, you know, I will see a page and sometimes I'll flip the ones that I'm not really interested in. I like this one right here. It has a lot of really nice greens and blues and I get excited to, um, to see what it's going to turn out like. And that's one of the things that's really exciting about this process is that it's so random. You have no clue just what any page is going to turn out like. So just kind of flip and try something new. Like this may turn out to be really interesting. And we're going to... Once you do this, don't mess around with the pages um, too much. I'm going to flip and see if I see a few more that might come out interesting. Citrusol has a tendency to evaporate, which is why I try and put it generously on my pages. Oh, what a cute little owl. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more in my bowl, my little palette bowl right there just so I can do a few more pages. And I've covered my workspace, as you can see, with a little bit of brown paper. Um, not because, again, Citrusol is caustic or anything, too, but it's really greasy. But I love the way it smells. Even before I clean my house, <laughs> it smells nice and lemony clean. I am extremely excited about trying other things with this and seeing if anything else can be used with this effect. Okay, I think one more. And you can, after like a few minutes of this being closed, which is, this is how I do it. Okay, you can use, after a few minutes of this being closed, you can peek at it. But because I use it liberally, um, the pages don't always dry right away. It takes a little while, so I just kind of put this aside, and I probably won't open this until tomorrow. But I do want to show you, well, this one that I worked on yesterday, what you can, some of the effects you can expect when you um, start doing this. See this page right here? This is one of my favorites. 
And what's really cool about this is I had already cut some images out of this for collaging. And I am really in love with the way the little windows um, kind of had an extra effect to it on both pages. And this is the patterns that Citrusol makes. It totally, this is another one of my favorites. So as you see, sometimes it leaves little gaps. Like I said, it's very random. You don't know exactly what kind of effects you're going to get um, with the Citrusol. Again, I love the little windows and the effects that it left on the page from where I cut out pictures. But um, um, that's, that's pretty much it. Does it get any simpler to create really cool images? Look at that. Background pages, um, collage pages, you know, whatever with these random, almost kind of organic patterns and, and things. Another window. I kind of want to do that on purpose now, cut out some windows in my magazines just so I can have those random little squares um, of color and shape. So tomorrow I will probably open up my other magazine and see what really cool pages that I've made with the Citrusol. But for now, I hope that you guys try this at home and go online to www.motleysoulmixmedia.com and post some pictures. Show me some of the experiments that you guys have been doing. Okay?